Hi, I thought I'd take this time to show you my 3-in-1 DOS box batch file menu. I'll show you first the one I use. And by the way, I like that C prompt there very well. I've made DOS box look at every one of my jump drives or my camera cards, my SD cards on different computers as C drives. So I like that very well. Uh, I've been able to make these portable from to my two laptops and my one netbook so I can interchange and go back and forth and make them all look like C the old traditional C prompt kind of meant a lot to me and I'm glad to have it back and make each drive I know DOSBox says not to make any not to make any uh, root directory on any drive uh, to load that root directory but I've got my DOS box on separate drives, so it doesn't really scare me to make it read the root directory because I've devoted the whole drive to DOS box and to Windows 3.11. So, okay, here's my DOS box 3 in 1 menu. Okay, I'll try to speed this along so it won't take too much of your time. Uh, here's the main menu. If you down here in CW, that's games menu 1. If you go down here and see X, that's Games Menu 2, okay? And here you can go back, you can go straight back to Main Menu if you press W. You can go through any any, any one of these that you like. Uh, so you're never stuck in a menu, and each time you go to a menu, let's say you're in Games Menu 1, you still have the option to exit DOSBox. And go back to Windows or just to exit to DOS, which is what we're going to do now because I want to show you this. I show you the one I was using, but I want to show you the one that I'm keeping for backup that's uh, kind of on, on the back burner, so to speak, in case I need a backup for some reason. So we've called this one 3 in 1 menu. And there it is in, the, in its more plain form. You can see but it works very well. W takes you to 1. X takes you to, to Games 2. Now you got your option. You can go back to Games 1. You can go back to Main Menu. You can go anywhere you like within this menu from any one of the three you can go to any one of the other two uh, I like this very well I'm going to show you what it looks like I do have a uh, no cursor program to take the cursor from flashing off to the bottom but uh, it runs okay without it you just have to put up that cursor flashing down in the bottom right corner but I'm going to take you to editor and show you what this looks like. I don't know if I can explain too much about it because I don't know if I can put everything into words to show you what I did. But uh, if you look at it and you're used to writing batch files, you can kind of see what I did. So we're going to let you look at the blank one we're using DOS Editor Edit 3 and 1 Menu. Period bat. Okay, there's I got some of my drawing codes there just so I can go up and look at them under remark. See that there's the top of main right there. There's my uh, collar code. And this is the main menu. With the error levels of where to go to. Okay, here's the top of games one menu. And so you can see top of games and there's the color code to make the color what it is. And I 
type of a text message it sounds like. Okay, hopefully we down to where the okay we're starting the games two menu. So now I'm going to take you back to the top. And I'll take you over here to the side and let you look at the other half of it, hopefully. Try to get about half here. And let you see what's going on here with my highlighting and so forth. You can see where I've put the highlight collars in. I'll give you a little bit more here. So where I put the highlight collars in to show where you can exit Windows, what exit DOS box to Windows. straight on down through here kind of quick okay now then we're hitting games games one menu Pretty much all you got to get to see there. So I'm going to go ahead and exit this and uh, go back to the uh, menu I use. And so, yeah, that, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but uh, thanks for watching. And I hope that, you know, if you decide to try a batch menu, you would try something like this. I hope at least this gives you some ideas. So, you have a good day. Bye.